What's up LEGO fans and welcome back, Alex here. In this video, I thought it would be fun to take a look at the newest uh, submissions for the LEGO ideas that have reached 10,000 votes. There have been a total of 86 this year, a mind-boggling large number, um, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to take a look at these most recent 25 uh, that are ending the year of 2020, uh, let you know what I think about them and if I would be willing to buy them myself. Now, if you're not familiar with LEGO ideas, this is a way for people like you and I to actually submit our own ideas for Lego sets. And if enough people vote for them, you have to reach 10,000 votes. Well, at that point, they are actually reviewed officially by the Lego group to see if they will become the next Lego set. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the submissions. And the first one we have here is the Boeing 737 Passenger Plane by Big Planes Customs. And I gotta say, this thing is massive. Look at the minifigures. So you know that this thing is very large just based on the fact that those minifigures are very small in comparison. A great idea, would love to see this. I would actually buy this. Uh, where I would put it would be very tough. This is not something that would fit in a Lego city, not easily anyway. Uh, this is something that would have to be displayed probably on an angle, but uh, very good job and would love to see this actually come out as a real Lego set. Number two is the Coliseum architecture style by Sky Walter. Not sure that this is actually going to work out because, of course, we just got the Coliseum as the largest Lego set ever, boasting over 9,000 pieces. But if this works out, it'll definitely appeal to the Lego architecture collector on a budget. Number three, Gravity Falls, The Mystery Shack by Top Lego 8 and Mini Brick Productions. Now, I've seen a few episodes of Gravity Falls, not a lot, but the few episodes I have seen, I laughed quite a bit. Uh, pretty funny show. And looking at this thing, there's some great detail. A lot of work went into this, so I can definitely appreciate that. And definitely, if this came out as the next Lego idea set, I would definitely buy it. Number four is the Bricktown Police Station by Bricked1980. Now, this one is very interesting to me because it has a striking similarity to the new modular building police station that we just got on the first of the year. It has a donut shop there on the left. It has a very similar color scheme going on. Uh, the steps up to the double doors in the middle there, very similar. Even has the uh, flowery vines going up the side of the building. Uh, this one actually has a police car, which the other one does not. I kind of like that more on this one. Uh, so I, it makes me wonder if this had some influence on the police station that we just barely got. Uh, regardless of if we like this one more or not, it doesn't seem like this one is going to make it. Number five, Bag End by Sabfan. Now this looks really good. There's a lot of great detail in here and I love the fact that it's on this really cool looking uh, Lego book. Even has some writing on there, uh, most likely from the book. I don't know, I can't read it from here. But what's gonna happen is if this one does make it, it will not have anything close to the detail you're seeing in this image. Uh, Lego unfortunately has a record of kind of, in my own words, dumbing down the, the original design. And I have some examples I'll show you later with other stuff. Um, but uh, this looks great. I would love to see this uh, come out and I would definitely buy it if it did. Number six, Red Dwarf Starbug by Bob's Vintage Bricks. Now, I wasn't actually familiar with this. I had to look it up, but apparently this uh, Starbug is a shuttle, a, a ship to surface spacecraft for the larger, much larger Red Dwarf ship. And I don't know that this has a chance. Uh, it would appeal to a very... Um, a specific a crowd, but most of these are, right? Uh, most of them, like for example, I, I was a big fan of the Futurama Lego Ideas sets, um, but uh, they, they didn't have a chance, right? Uh, would have loved to have that, I would have bought them, but uh, there probably wouldn't have been enough sales to really justify it. And I think this might unfortunately fall into that category, but hey, I could be proven wrong, you never know. Um, but if I am proven wrong and this does come out as a Lego set, I probably will not buy it. Number seven, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Yip Yip, by Studio Trico, Trico. Uh, now, I'm not familiar with the Avatar series, but it's uh, very popular among many, many people, so it's got a big following, absolutely. Uh, this looks cool. I like this, and not even being uh, familiar with the show, I would buy this if the set came out looking like this anyway, because it looks like there's, there's some uh, definite movement and automation with this thing. It looks great, so the designer did a good job, uh, so uh, good luck with this. Number eight, Classic Castle by Durbor. 
This looks good. At first glance, I thought this was a micro scale castle, but there are many figures walking around on it. So that was a good sign. Um, looking at some of the shields on the uh, the facade, I think that's a Dragon Master's uh, shield, if I'm not mistaken. There's even a wizard there taking a nap on the bottom. Um, this is something that looks like there's been a lot of work on the detail. And if this won and came out as an idea set, I would definitely pick it up. Number nine is the Open MRI by Apollo Exconde. I think I'm saying that right. Hopefully I am. But anyway, this made me chuckle a little bit because I, I, I'm actually going to be rebuilding my hospital here very soon. And I thought, you know what? An MRI machine would be perfect. And this is right up that alley. So if this uh, does work out, I will definitely buy it for that reason. Number 10 is the Motorized Lighthouse by Roses Must Build. Built in a micro scale, this thing is actually quite enormous and there's some great detail into this thing and I love the light at the top. Um, this would be something I would definitely buy, not for my city, uh, but something to definitely put on display on a shelf, but you'd need a lot of shelf space or height anyway to get this to fit. Number 11, Avatar, The Illuminated World of Pandora by Bulldozer. James Cameron's Avatar, man, who can forget that very, very long movie, full of brilliant colors. And that is what's coming through on this particular build. Look at all those amazing colors and detail. The creator did a very good job on this. Um, would I buy it? I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence on this one. I would say probably... 60% yes on this one. I guess we'll have to see what the final product would look like, but uh, regardless, a great submission. Number 12, Spirited Away by Lego Truman. This was another one I was not familiar with. I had to do a Google search, but my Google search resulted in me finding out that this is based on a Japanese animated fantasy film back in 2001. So obviously he's got a pretty good following to get to 10,000 votes. Now, not knowing anything about the movie or the film or the background, if I saw a Lego set looking like that building, I would definitely buy it. So we shall see. Number 13 is Jumanji of 1995 by Nakana. Man, 1995 doesn't seem long ago to me, but man, it's 25, 26 years ago. Crazy how time flies. But anyway, I think this looks good. Will I buy it? No, mostly because this is not to minifigure scale. As you guys know, uh, I like minifigure scale the most because I always try to get things uh, in my city if I can. Um, this will probably ride on the success also of the more recent uh, Jumanji movies starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, so we shall see. Number 14 is Little Venice by Bricky Brick. This looks good. It's big though. It has a lot of pieces. So if, if Lego were to produce this as an official Lego set, it would be very pricey. Um, so I don't see it um, making it mostly because of the scale here. Um, but if they did come out with this thing and it did look like this and it had the, a very similar scale, uh, I would definitely buy it. I mean, this thing is full of great little details. So uh, really good job, Ricky Brick, on, on this creation and the best of luck to you. Number 15, Auto Union Type C Race Car by Redera Zero Zero. This is cool. This gets me excited about Lego ideas because these are the kind of creations I love to collect. I'm a Formula One fan. Um, I love these vintage 1950s uh, race cars. Uh, the only thing I'd, I would change about this is the tires. They shouldn't have that much tread on them, um, but uh, it looks great. But I fear the inevitable, which is what they did to the Catrum 7. The original design for the Catrum 7 Lego Ideas was fantastic, and it got me very excited about it. But when Lego came out with the official Lego set, it was a, well, it was a disappointment to say the least. And if this made it, I just fear that they would do the same thing to it. They would make it look horrible or just make it so simple it wouldn't appeal to many buyers. So fingers crossed that this not only makes it, but it looks very similar to the design you see right here. Next, number 16 is the automated garbage truck by Mochi Master and Alexander Hammerston. Now we've seen many garbage trucks or recycle trucks, whatever they're calling them these days before with Lego, but this one boasts some moving parts where it picks up your garbage can for you. So there's some fun playability here. Unfortunately, I don't know that this has a good fighting chance against the competition, mostly because, well, we've seen garbage trucks and recycled trucks before. Um, but what I will say about it is that it would be more one of the more uh, affordable options out there from the Lego Ideas. Uh, would I get it? Mm, probably not. But hey, it's a good looking truck nonetheless. Number 17, TX Master Games by TX Master. When I first saw this, I knew it was a game of some sorts, but I did have to look it up to see what it was all about. 
Uh, apparently, you roll the dice to create moves for your character. Your Lego character is actually a martial artist. And by the roll of the dice, you create moves such as kicks, punches, blocks, etc. Uh, and hopefully, your minifigure survives the dojo out there. Lego has done a lot of games like this before, family fun games. Uh, so I think this has a fighting chance to make it. We shall see. Um, would I buy it? Eh, probably not, but I still think it's cool. Number 18 is the Milwaukee Art Museum by Vita Andres. This looks really cool. I think the designer did a fantastic job of recreating this thing. Obviously an architecture set. Uh, while it's great to look at, I wouldn't buy it. And that's mostly because I don't collect architecture. So that's just a personal preference. Um, regardless though, I think this looks fantastic. So good job by the designer. Number 19 is the Car Wash by Bricky Brick. This looks awesome. And I really hope this makes it because I would definitely buy this. It's basically the next modular car wash. Who knew, right? And I love that massive electric guitar in the middle. It gives it a very hard rock cafe sort of vibe. And I love the vintage look. Lego is all about vintage Lego sets. And I love the the lady on the left there by that little chihuahua, that massive bun, <laughs> that hair bun is, is just fantastic. A lot of great detail in this. So fingers crossed that this makes it. Number 20, Wallace and Gromit by Tom Gerardin. This puts the biggest smile on my face. I think I'm most excited about this as a potential Lego idea set because my family love Wallace and Gromit. We love watching the episodes. This, of course, paying homage to those first three episodes with characters from each one, a grand day out, the wrong trousers, and of course, a close shave with Sean the Sheep. I love it. So here's hoping this actually comes. I would love to see this on uh, store shelves in a Lego store, and I would definitely buy not one, but probably a few. This would be a great gift idea for people who are fans of the show. They did it. I mean, the look at Wallace and Gromit. They look fantastic. Who would have thought uh, someone would do such a great job creating those two characters out of Lego bricks. So here's hoping, guys. Number 21, Among Us, The Skeld by Minifig in Disguise. I guess it should come as no surprise that Among Us is Among Us as a Lego ideas creation. I have a teenage son who loves this game. He plays it quite often. He also enjoys watching other people play this game, which is interesting to me, but that is the world we live in. Now, I will admit this looks pretty cool. Would I buy it? You know what? I probably would. It's actually pretty cool as something to put inside of a building, like an interior, maybe even inside the Shmoo Tower. It's It's got that kind of appeal for me. Uh, so yeah, we'd we'll definitely pick this thing up. Uh, so, and you know what? I will also say that even if... 100,000 votes were required. This would have made that easy. It's that popular in my mind. But anyway, that's that's what it is. Number 22 is The Roman Warship by Ian Ha. Now, this looks really good. I love the attention to detail on this thing. And I also love the fact that it has all those really cool and detailed shields on the side of the boat. Uh, this would look good on a shelf. So for me as, a, as a, a buyer of this, potential buyer, I should say, I guess it would come down to price. Also, if Lego decided to keep that many minifigures inside of it, uh, that would be very appealing to a lot of collectors I know to get that many minifigures. So uh, we shall see. But in any case, looking at the design of this, I think uh, it has a, a fighting chance. Excuse the puns, guys. They just keep coming here. Uh, but it has a fighting chance to, to make it as a Lego idea set because it looks like Lego could recreate this without losing a lot of the detail. Sorry, I couldn't help myself, guys. Number 23, The Addams Family Mystery Mansion by Disney Bricks. I'm sorry, Disney Brick 55. The Addams Family, how can you go wrong with this? So looking at the design, the front looks amazing. Now, the back of it is a little concerning for me, mostly because it's just an open back and it doesn't have the, the those top floors completed. So I guess we'd have to see what the final design is. But overall, it looks great. And if you get all the Addams Family characters, you can't go wrong. Number 24, the GMC Blue Chip 100 1957 by Ing Manuel. This looks fantastic. And honestly, if this was the product that we got on the shelf, I would buy multiples of it, especially if we got it in different colors. Now, unfortunately, I think what would happen here is if it did make it, we would see what would happen with the Catrum 7, where it would be, again, in my own words, dumbed down quite a bit. You know, it's almost like when, when car companies come out with a concept vehicle, the concept looks amazing. It's futuristic and you're, and it makes you want it right then and there. You're like, shut up and take my money, right? Um, that's what I think happens with Lego, with the Lego ideas. They take a concept that is 
absolutely amazing looking like these trucks. And then the end product is something that is very lackluster and disappointing. But regardless, um, they're fantastic looking as they are right here. So here's hoping they look just like that if they do make it. All right, last on the list, number 25, guys, is Viking Village by Brickhammer. I got to say, it looks really good. Ending on a good note here, guys. Now, Lego has done Vikings before. It was brief, but it was awesome. A lot of uh, Viking boats, if I remember correctly. I never got any of them. Um, but if they were to come out with them again alongside this thing, I think they would be very successful. So if this came out as a real Lego set, I would definitely pick it up. And that concludes the newest list of Lego Ideas submissions. Congratulations to all those who reached 10,000 votes. I think these are all uh, great ideas, and I'm excited to see which ones Lego selects. Usually with this much on a list, they uh, sometimes select more than one, maybe even two or three. So let me know what you guys think as your favorites. Let me know your top three of these 25. I'd be interested to know, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more cool stuff from the Lego Ideas line here in 2021. Uh, but yeah, that's all for me for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.